Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic from Dental Anatomy that is sequence of eruption. So we have sequence of eruption of deciduous teeth and permanent teeth with respect to maxillary and mandibular arch. So while considering the maxillary teeth, the first tooth erupts is maxillary central incisor that is a deciduous one, it is denoted by A. We use the Igmondi Palmer system that is a quadrant system. So each quadrant we have A, B, C, D, E that is central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first molar and second molar. Similarly all quadrant we have this A, B, C, D, E. This is Igmondi Palmer system that is a quadrant denotation of teeth arrangement. So the first tooth erupts in maxillary. The central incisor that is around 8 to 12 months, then the lateral incisor around 9 to 13 months, then comes the first molar, not the canine. First molar that is around 1 to 1 and a half years, then comes the canine that is around 1 and a half to 2 years, and lastly the second molar that is 2 to 2 and a half years. So the sequence is coming like this A, B, D, C, and E for maxillary deciduous teeth whereas the mandibular deciduous teeth it starts again with central incisor that is much more earlier 6 to 10 months then lateral incisor 10 to 16 months then comes again the first molar 1 to 1 and a half years then canine 1 and a half to 2 years and second molar that is 2 to 2 and a half years again the same sequence we have a, B, D, C and E. Central, lateral, first molar, canine and second molar. This, that is a sequence of uh, eruption of deciduous teeth. Okay, so all together when we take this maxilla and mandibular together, the first teeth erupt into oral cavity is a mandibular central incisor that is these two. Mandibular, lower, central incisor then comes the maxillary central incisor on both sides sometimes it may vary a little months uh, gap but the first teeth erupts, erupts into the baby's oral cavity is the lower central incisor then comes the maxillary central incisor then comes the maxillary lateral incisor okay then comes the mandibular lateral incisor because this is 9 to 13 months little earlier than the lower teeth then comes molars the first molars almost same time it erupts into oral cavity maxilla and mandible again the canine and second molar also almost same time but mostly uh, the female gender will be having more earlier eruption than the male gender that is a common uh, scenario but this is a sequence first the lower central incisor then the upper central incisor then the upper lateral incisor then comes the lower lateral incisor then the rest of the teeth are almost same time okay there is no arch predilection or the earlier eruption So we'll start with the permanent teeth that is a maxilla. So first tooth erupts into oral cavity with respect to maxilla is a first molar, first permanent molar around to five and a half to six and a half years. Then the central incisor that is one that is around seven to eight years, then lateral incisor eight to nine years, first premolar, not canine, first premolar that is ten to eleven years, then comes the second premolar or canine, mostly it comes together that is a 5 and 3 around 11 to 12 years then second molar around 12 to 13 years and third molar it has a bigger variation it comes uh, 14 to 20 or 21 sometimes it won't come because it might get ankylosed or impacted so in permanent teeth we have the Zygmondi Palmer system as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is a quadrant wise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, central, lateral, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar and third molar. 
so whereas the mandibular teeth we have the sequence first is the first molar five and a half to six and a half years then the central incisor six to seven years then the lateral incisor seven to eight years but then comes the canine not first premolar maxillary teeth we have first premolar here it is the same sequence canine then comes the first premolar around 10 to 11 years then second premolar around 11 to 12 years then the second molar 11 to 13 years and finally the last molar around 15 to 20 years so that is the sequence in maxilla and mandible mandibular teeth we have the same sequence 6 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 but here we have 6 1 2 4 5 3 or 7 8 okay so in maxilla we can say it is six one two four three five seven eight so that order it comes whereas a mandible we have six one two three four five seven and eight so when we take a uh, maxilla and mandibular teeth together the permanent teeth so when we take maxilla and mandibular permanent teeth together the first teeth erupts into oral cavity it will be sometimes uh, central incisor and the lower molars and similarly there will be upper molars then we have the upper central incisor then there will be lower lateral incisor then we have upper lateral incisors then after eight to nine years we have lower canines then comes the upper first premolar then we have the lower first premolar and at the same time we have upper first primo second premolar and canine and canine then we have lower second molar then we have upper second molar and third molar varies so that is the eruption sequence of uh, deciduous teeth and permanent teeth with respect to maxilla and mandible and all together so i'll come up with a new topic in dental anatomy thank you